Hello friends, I'm Parways and this is our 47th video in uh, Python GUI development with PyQtify. Uh, in the previous video, we have learned that how you can create tables in PyQtify. So this is from the previous video. In this video, I'm going to show you that uh, how you can create a uh, plain text edit in PyQtify. So now let's let's get started. Uh, I'm going to copy my uh, basic window code and I want to paste it in my new uh, Python file. And just I'm going to change the title to uh, Q plain text edit. Uh, Q plain text edit. So now uh, I need some imports. So first uh, I need to change this to Q widget. And also I need a Q VBox layout and Q plain text edit. Okay, now these are the imports that uh, I want. Uh, let me just change the main window to Q widget. Okay. So let me just create my tech, uh, plain text edit in here. Mm. So first, I'm going to create a VBox layout, Q VBox layout, and now I want to create the object of my plain text edit. So plain, uh, plain text edit. Q plain text edit. So now uh, let me just add uh, this to my VBox layout. So VBox dot add widget. I want to add the plain text edit, and now I want to set the layout. So self dot set layout to the VBox layout. Uh, let me just run this, and so. Uh, Okay, now you can see that I have a plain text edit uh, in here. So uh, this is different uh, from the text edit, uh, normal text edit that we have, because uh, we can add more functionality to this uh, uh, plain text edit. For example, you can set the placeholder to your plain text edit. Uh, so you can do plain text edit dot uh, set placeholder text, and we can call it uh, this as the placeholder. Uh, for the uh, for the plain text edit for the plain plain text edit okay so now if I run this you will see that I I have a placeholder so now you can see that this is the placeholder that I have if I write something the placeholder is removed so like this you can set the uh, a placeholder to your plain text edit um, also, you can do, uh, for example, uh, you don't want to, uh, it should be a read only. So, also you can do with plain text edit so that uh, make uh, this plain text to read only. Uh, you can set this. So, let me show you plain text edit dot set read only, and this uh, takes a Boolean value. So, uh, by default, it's false, but you can make it true. So now if I run this, you can see that now uh, I, cannot, uh, I cannot write something in here because right now it's just read only. And uh, let me just comment this. Uh, also you can uh, uh, append text to your text edit. So for example, uh, let me create a text in here. Uh, please subscribe my channel and like the videos so now you can uh, say plain text edit dot append uh, so you can see we have HTML you can append HTML and we have a uh, plain text edit so append plain plain text edit and I want to append the text okay now I want to run this so now this is the text that we have appended so if I remove this we have a placeholder to this so also uh, you can do so if you uh, click we have undo redo these are uh, enabled but uh, it's by default enabled but you can disable this so you can simply say uh, plain text edit dot set undo redo enabled by default it's true but I want to make it false now let me just run my application 
Okay, now if I click, you can see that undo redo is disabled. Uh, by this, you can do more functionality on Q plain text edit. If you have any question, please let me know. And for the further videos, subscribe to the channel and also like the video.